Now let us discuss about the very important point in the surface integration. Let us discuss about how to write ddx. In line integration, we have integrated with respect to dn. The differential element there was the infinitesimal length, very small length. We call it as a dl. Similarly, here in surface integration, our differential element will be a very small surface infinitesimal surface and we will call it as ds or sometimes da. So, let us discuss about it, how to write it and how it is found out. My dear, in previous lectures we have seen about the representation of lines and planes and surfaces. Can you recall it? We have seen about the lines that for any line we have two coordinates constant, only one is variable for that line. This is how the equation of line looks like. For the surface, we have seen that for any surface, we have only one coordinate constant, while rest two are variables. So, this is how the equation of surface, one coordinate equal to constant. My dear, I have warned you there also and once again I am warning you. This is not the universal way to talk about the lines and planes. The lines and planes can be more complex also. But this complex portion, we will deal with it in the later part of our syllabus. But as if now, it is completely okay to remember like this. My dear, this part I have discussed in very much detail in the lecture of coordinate systems. You can easily go through it. But once again, let me reiterate some of the portion of it. Consider x equal to 4 plane as you can see from the diagram. As I just said, any surface or plane is represented with the equation 1 coordinate equal to constant. Only 1 coordinate equal to constant. So, in our given surface is x equal to 4. x equal to constant. As you can see from the diagram, the x equal to 4 surface is parallel to yz plane. And if we consider any point on this surface, any point, you can easily notice that each and every point is at a distance of 4 from the yz plane. Actually, what is the x coordinate? Can you recall the definitions of coordinates that we have seen in the previous lectures? x coordinate is the perpendicular distance from the yz plane. So, in our diagram, each and every point on the given plane is at a distance of 4 from the yz plane. So, each and every point will have x coordinate equal to 4. So, you know, for any surface, the surface is parallel to yz plane. So, for this surface, x coordinate is equal to 4, x coordinate equal to constant. But for different points on this plane, let us say point x and y, you can easily observe that for different points of this surface, we will have different y and z coordinates. So, what I am trying to tell you, for any surface or plane or area, we have one coordinate constant, rest to they can be variables. Actually, what is the area? Area is normally length into breadth. We can get the surface or area only when two coordinates, two lengths are changing simultaneously, while other one must be the constant. So, for any surface or for any area, out of three coordinates, we must have one coordinate constant rest 2 must be the variables. As we have defined the differential length in line integration, here in surface integration, we will need the differential surface, ds, the infinitesimal surface. So, consider once again x equal to 4 plane or x equal to 4 surface. 
let us assume that we are integrating over this surface x equal to 4. Now my dear, we want a very small area, a infinitesimal area, infinitesimal surface from this given surface and that will be our ds or da. Now you also know that for any surface or for any plane, we have one coordinate always constant, rest to our variables. For example, given surface is x equal to 4 surface. So for this surface, x coordinate is going to be constant. Every point on this surface will have x coordinate constant. Only y and z coordinates can be changing. So my dear, how can we get a small area on this surface? Recall that normally area is length into breadth. So we will at least need two lengths to get the area. So my dear, as you can see from the figure, to get the very small area from this surface, we have to take a very small length, differential length along y, let us say dy, and we have to take a very small length along dz, differential length that is dz. So our required small area on this surface will be dy into dz. So my dear, for this given surface x equal to 4, our differential surface, our differential area ds will be dy into dz. Now my dear, you also know that area of the surface in electromagnetics is not a scalar quantity. It is a vector quantity whose direction is perpendicular to own surface. So here we have to put one unit vector. Now the given surface is x equal to 4 surface. You know x equal to constant surface is parallel to yz plane. So perpendicular to this plane will be obviously as you can see from the diagram will be in the direction of x may be positive x or may be negative x. But perpendicular to this surface will be in the direction of x. So our unit vector can be plus ax or minus ax. So my dear, the differential surface for this given surface x equal to 4 or x equal to constant will be ds equal to dy dz plus minus ax. Similarly, had I considered y equal to constant plane for my discussion, we would have got ds equal to dx dz plus minus ay. Similarly, ds for the z equal to constant plane will be dx dy plus minus az. So you know my dear, this is very simple pattern to remember. You can easily remember it. For which surface you are integrating? x equal to constant? Then ds will be like this. For y equal to constant, for z equal to constant, it is the simple pattern.